We're going to start no. the show. Mike? Mike? Never. Never gets riled He's up. He's such a calm person. Blood pressure stays low at all times. Yeah. Serenity. That's what does. I think of when I think of Mike Fellini. Reads to blind children on his off days. Absolutely. Rico, we're going to do plenty of football today, but I want to start the show a little differently. Okay. Because we got a letter written to Pistons fans that I'd like to start the show with. This is from the desk of Troy Weaver. I'd like to, can we begin with a dramatic reading? And then we'll get into why he wrote this, what you think of it. Isn't it always sad now when you see these types of things and you immediately are like, okay, I got to make sure this is real. <laughs> yeah. The season's not over. They're, they're playing tonight. You just heard in the update. Season's not over. No decision has been announced on Dwayne Casey yet. But Weaver felt like now with a couple games to go, he needed to send a message to the Pistons fan base. When I made the decision to join the Pistons franchise in June of 2020, it was with great appreciation and understanding of what this organization means to the city, its fans, and all those who bleed red, white, and blue. I know the history. I know the tradition. I know the urgency to which our fans want to win and see us move up the ladder of the NBA's hierarchy. Our focus is aligned with yours, and from the top down, we're committed to delivering on this restoration process for you. Rebuilding a team doesn't always follow a linear path, and we experienced that this year with the injury to Cade Cunningham that forced him to miss the majority of the season. Attendance hasn't been that bad. While the injury impacted the continuity of our team, it also presented an opportunity for growth from others. Overall, our players have overwhelmingly embraced the core principles of going to work and competing every night. Do you have a cricket sound effect in there? We are in an, good enough. We're in an excellent spot to upgrade our roster this offseason. We've positioned ourselves for another high draft choice in this year's draft. We have a favorable salary cap position, and we'll continue to talk with teams and evaluate trade opportunities as they present themselves. I promise it's almost over. Make no mistake, we are all disappointed with our record this season, but are confident that we continue to be on the right path to success. <laughs> we appreciate we appreciate Roberts. your patience, Roberts, uh, your patience, loyalty, and support as we continue this journey together. You deserve to celebrate this team once again as a fixture of the NBA's best, a bedrock of this city and its culture. We are, <laughs> we are partners with you in building greatness together, Troy Weaver. <laughs> Rico, why did he write this? Because I have some theories. I think fans have some theories. You also have a chance to respond to that. 248-539-9797. To me, this reads, I know I'm losing the fan base. I know I'm losing cabin pressure. Okay. <clears throat> By losing, you mean lost the fan base. Mm -hmm. Lost cabin pressure. The honeymoon's over. He but knows that. This tells me he's not going to get fired. His job's okay because that's the first. Well, you got to fire him. I'm no. not going anywhere. But I realize it's been a crappy ride. Be patient. I know I really only shine one day a year during draft day. Oh, I'm the bell of the ball. But for the other 364 days, you get nothing. This is him saying, guys, I promise you I'm going to try to do better. You got to stick with me. A little bit of patience. It does hurt when you see teams like Sacramento, who were in the same spot as the Pistons were, they're in the playoffs. And they're not just barely making the playoffs. They're in the playoffs, hosting games. And we are a win by Yama watch. That's it. Rico, the Pistons have lost 20 of their last 21 games. They currently have the fewest wins in the history of the franchise. And no, no. And let me stop you right there for one second. Yeah. They've lost 20 of 21 games, and they're not trying to tank. They're not trying to lose. Like, sometimes teams just really, you could tell, I want this number one pick. They are out there giving it everything every night, and it is still not good enough. 
And the worst part about it, you're losing to the B teams. You're losing to the glorified G League teams because I can't recall the last time a star played against the Pistons. So they just lost to the Magic, to your point about B squads. And, and you know, come on, losing by 20, 30 points to the Magic is unacceptable. I think this has been an intentional tank when they shut people down and started putting out less than lineups. But Rico, they've already clinched the number. Oh, but let me finish the point. They've already clinched the best possible draft position they could have. And they're still getting their ass kicked. So which it's tells both, me which it's both. They're, they're still tr- they're, they're actually trying yeah. to win. Shutting people down is just one of those. There's no point of putting you out there if you're risking injury. Because it's nothing that we can gain. But in that little blurb I read, the letter from Troy Weaver, he basically brags about tanking. We've put ourselves in position to have a great draft. That's the most positive spin on. We positioned ourselves. No. no. Yes. And I'm going to let David talk because he's Piston fan number one. He, My God, he got Cade here through prayer. It's not. What you're doing is you're giving people hope. So... The season's over. The only thing you can hope for is the draft. So that's the new focus now. The draft. Heck, what have we been talking about for the Lions for the last couple months? The draft. It springs eternal. It's it's what uh, spring training baseball used to be for the Tigers, where you would get all excited, but we know better, and we didn't. But for the Pistons, he can't say it, but apparently there's a generational player coming out in the draft. Mm Mm-hmm. We're doing everything we can to get this man. You get Wimbayama to go along with Kay, to go along with Ivy, to go along with all the other pieces that he has that I really don't understand. You know, now you're hoping to jumpstart in this league. Cause let's just be real. It's not like the NBA is this juggernaut and you can't, you know, get your place at the table. It's just this team stinks. Yes, they stink. And it's because of Troy Weaver. Where you're getting guys like Corey Why? Joseph in here and uh, whatever this 10-day contract guy is, Oba Jorio or whatever his name is, and you're bringing these type of talents in, what are we doing here? There's no hope. We're not getting Victor. It's not happening, okay? There's no David, hope. they have a shot at Victor. Give me a player outside of who he's you drafted. Know what? We're not going to get Victor if you're going to go into prayer with that attitude. Because we're not okay? getting him. Because okay? it's Troy's fault. Is this what you teach at Greater Troy Life? Troy doesn't deserve the prayer, okay? Oh, wow. He doesn't deserve the you prayer. You don't deserve prayer. It's sh- all your fault. Detroiters should call Put up and Put on your complain. asbestos underwear. You're going straight to hell. <laughs> That's where the pisses are right now. <laughs> It's, it's no hope here. It isn't. There's not a player outside of the draft, someone he's drafted, that has actually helped this team. There's not a significant player he's brought in. <sighs> he wrote this letter. Guys don't do this that often. We don't get letters from the GMs every year for our teams. All the teams have been bad for years. Okay, We don't get letters every year. There's a reason Weaver did this, and it's because he feels he's losing, or to your point, lost a large portion of this fan base. So I'd like to engage with those people and ask Pistons fans, where are you at with Weaver, the direction, the timeline? He writes this and says... We're going to be okay. We positioned ourselves well for the offseason. Is there then an expectation following this letter that stuff gets done this offseason? He's been stupid aggressive. He's made 18 trades in three years. He makes moves all the time. The question is, can you stop adding guys and build a team? Stop trading for assets and picks and contracts and put five guys on the floor that fit next to one another that lead to wins, not losses. Because you don't get a bridge to, to... to nowhere. You don't get to rebuild forever and ever and ever. He's writing this letter because he feels some heat on his seat. He does. Now, here's the thing. Really, if you get Victor Wimbayama, you're going to get people who, who are going to want to play with this kid. Now, he's he's. I don't think he's going to light up the league in the first year, but people are saying he's that LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant type of player that you put him around other people and you got something. You're right. You need to go out there and get me some real, a, a real dude, a guy, something. In the NBA, because either you draft somebody or you got to make the free agency pickup. You're not, you're, you're not this location spot. You're not right now. 
I mean, heck, Milwaukee's really good, and I don't think they're a destination spot because they're Milwaukee. You're Detroit. You're limited by the cold weather, and you're limited by a lot of bad things. You don't have a beachfront property. Mm -hmm. You don't have no state income taxes. You don't have the things that certain players are like, yeah, I want to go there, but you're right. I, I need him to make that move. Instead, he keeps bringing in, you know, former number two draft picks, but yeah, they, they're bust and their team didn't want them anymore. And can we talk about all these two big lineups? I know most people aren't watching. They're the worst lineup combos the Pistons have put out. Playing two bigs, you get no offense, and they can't rebound. It's, it's atrocious. I know there's an infatuation that Weaver has with the big guys and reclamation projects. You got to start fielding a team that works. Yeah. Again, 16 wins, fewest in franchise history. They've lost 20 of 21. He writes this letter. I think he knows seats heating up. He's losing people. Honeymoon's over. I want to check in with the fan base. And the funny thing is, you literally can pop out Troy Weaver and insert any GM in there, and it kind of works. If you think about switch it. some of the words in that letter. Switch the wording, switch court to ice. Right. Or to, yeah, whatever, to, to diamond. diamond. Field. Yeah, it's like, okay, yeah. Focus on the Pistons specifically. I got people I want to get to. 248-539-9797. Calls, ticket, text. Letter from the general manager. Your response as a fan. What do they need to do to get you back on board?